Hi, welcome back. So this was really unexpected. I didn't expect to be doing another video for ISS Vanguard so quickly, but uh, Okay, so so what is my motivation of doing this? I'm sure you have like seen 100 video out there talking about ISS Vanguard uh, from Awaken Rams. It's like they are, you know, one of the blockbusters games that's been going around and I guess there's like, you know, playthrough of the first campaign, I mean the first mission, second mission and you know, how to set up and then you know, and a lot of things like that, but there's one big issue. Before you can even set up your game, how do you even organize the big box? Okay, so this is this is where I'm coming from. So I I, I met this problem, okay. So um it's not really a problem, it's like you know RTFM, but you know it's like why not a video? So let me just guide you through some of the things that I did for my ISS Vanguard and um it should go from zero to hero. That means, you know, straight out from the box, I'm going to tell you what you exactly need to do to organize everything uh, all the way until you're ready to set up your first game. So this is the, the missing link between all the rest of the video and the point of time of you getting the box, uh, you know, unboxed. So if, you get, if you're interested, you can watch my unbox video. I uh, cut out the stuff. Uh, I ran through some of things and I obviously I make some mistakes because I know I have no idea what the game is about But right now I have a better idea. So I'm gonna like talk a little bit about um, you know the game So here we're gonna start. So first thing first is the personal files. So this book this um, You will you will open this okay um, and basically you will if you read the the first section you're supposed to read the first section um, They'll tell you that this are uh, like for all these files are like for when your characters reach the veteran stage, which you can see that there's an indication of a V, um, which is like rank two or rank three. Uh, but before you can do that, you there's certain criteria to be met, and then uh, you know you can take a look at the cards. So not too worry about it until you start getting promoted to rank two. Um, then you still to need to worry about this, and then you know go through each of the uh, different characters. And now uh, all the different characters have their own uh, set of cards, which uh, I haven't even opened them because. I doubt I'll be reaching there anytime soon, but you know that just check out which characters is going to you know level up and you know just check out what their effect should be and I think this is um this is good enough to just leave it on its own uh, in this box so make sure you keep the uh, the booklet side close to the tab you know there's a reason why you do this because once you slide it in uh you want to close this if your booklet is on this side close to the this you will actually uh, you know damage your books quite easily, so if you keep it on this side, uh you know it should be quite easy. So uh you know just keep this aside. You know you probably don't need it in your first game. Um, uh, well, here we go. This is the big box. I have already um uh, packed everything up into the box, and I'm gonna tell you exactly how I do it. So when you leave out the cover, I didn't show you there was actually something at the side of the box which is actually very important. So these are like the so the plastic sheet which I have yet to throw away, I may be using them to, you know, like uh, keep some of my play maps or stuff. But anyway, there's this thing at the side of the box which you um, you need to kind of take note of. It tells you how to repack everything back into the box. Okay, but I will do that uh, right at the end. Don't worry. So um, what you need to do is actually you need to um, read through the first book. Uh, let me the first page. Okay read through this and then you will tell you that you probably need to read the comic if you have not read read the comic or watch the video i think watching the video is a lot more thematic because it tells you the story and then uh, i know go through some of this stuff which actually i have not because uh, i trust that everything is there i shouldn't be missing any cards or anything like that but it does tell you which tokens are uh are which tokens so we have something like you know uh, separating up the standees so you have like these are the thread standees okay not sure if you can see them these are the thread standees these are the uh, mission equipment tokens. So these are tokens, these are standees. So you uh, take a look, punch them out from the board and then you know, separate them. And there's 20 lead token, lead token, I guess you pronounce it as lead in this case. Uh, they're all circular in shape with uh, some numbers on it. And uh, then the green ones are all the success tokens. Uh, and there's a time token and there's a turn tokens and uh, you know, stuff like that. So the rest are, are quite unique as you can see. Uh, but um, the rest of them, the figure of the cards, I will show you the cards because I think unfortunately um, the cards is a bit hard to tell which are what cards and then you know 
as you follow through the instruction, they don't have the, they should have all these pictures right in the instruction to make things easy. But uh, it wasn't there. So, uh, so there's a lot of like, so I did most of my guesswork. I mean, I could like, you know, just come back here and refer to which is the event card, which is the uh, unique card and so on. But I tell you what, I'm going to like make it easy for you guys. Just follow my instruction and then you get it organized. And basically, uh, you know, this tells you all the components in case you need to you know figure out which is which. So this is the part where, it, where things, uh, when nobody talks about it on the video, because it's rather boring. So uh, I guess someone got to do it and uh, that probably is going to be me. So basically, uh, they're going to tell you how to organize the box A, okay? Then box B, and then uh, followed by the uh, ship lock. Okay, so I'm going to do just that. Uh, let's follow the kind of follow through this. Okay, so the structure is that the box A is going to contain everything that's uh, pertaining to uh, exploration, okay? That's not to do with the ship. So there's a ship section and the exploration section. So uh, the game tray A, the white one, is actually all about exploration. So I'm going to like put this one side and then I'm going to unpack and show you the stuff. Okay. Oops. Out. Okay. So uh, the, this I'll put aside so. I'll put this aside also, and now uh, the ship lock has already been done, okay, so it's pretty heavy and uh, there's a lot of stuff inside, I'll put that aside too. Uh, this shit, don't throw it away, I'll tell you why, but remember there's this weird uh, weird track stuff here, uh, I'll explain why I kept this. So this thing, lift up, okay, uh, so it will be the miniatures, it's covered. Uh, the dice were not originally there, but anyway, just ignore that first on the player board. Uh, this doesn't come with the game. This is my dry stick. Okay, I'm gonna like, keep this inside as well. Okay, and now uh, we look at the uh, tray. This is box A. So box A, I'm gonna like leave out the cover. I'm gonna like leave out the whole box A. Uh, trying to hover over the camera. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna just make things easy for you guys. So. When you first came, uh, you know, there are some cards that's in uh, box A, some cards that's in box a, B. And you thought that, oh, all the cards that goes in box A are, you know, all wrapped and put in box A. And, uh, you know, vice versa. But actually, that's not even true. That's, that is the number one mis um, misconception that you have to throw out of the windows. All the cards are supposed to be mixed together. <laughs> and uh, some of them are in box A, some of them are in box B. And like I mentioned, actually, there were like stacks of cards that were in, uh, I think, the blue, the blue and the... Uh, violet box, but there was none none cards in the rose and the red, but and the yellow. I mean, but um, you know it's like uh, so yeah, like I was right. The the cards are a lot of jumbled all over the place. But anyway, we start by unpacking these stacks of uh, you have a stack of these things. These are dividers with uh, just this. So the first one is the point of interest. Okay, so you will find this card. Basically, you will need to uh put all the cards with these bags here. Uh, starting from P00. So you will have like a, a stack of these cards. There's something, there will be something like this, okay? And uh, you will have them in reverse order. You will start from like maybe 171 and then 170, uh, 169. So this is the order they come from. So you need to like, uh, you know, reorder them back in reverse order and so that the zero is the one, the lower number is facing you. And then you will uh, put them uh, accordingly from uh, zero all the way to... 533, I think that's the last card. Yep. So this this is something that uh I don't know why. It's something to do with the way that they manufacture it. It's uh also the same problem in the uh, interviews. Uh all the cards are like in reverse order. You have to like flip through every single card and then you know uh re restack them uh back to front. And uh unfortunately in doing so sometimes you'll be forced to see some things that you didn't want, especially for interviews where both sides of the cards are you know uh kind of secret because you haven't been there, but you already seen the map, and then you've seen some of the things that happens. Okay, so but anyway, this is not so bad for this deck at least. So no, just flip them back to front. Okay, so that is um, that's a point interest. Next we have the mission. Okay, so mission cards are all have this back. Okay, same thing. Flip them back to front. Okay, you have uh, from uh, ten to two twenty two ten. Okay, so bear in mind that there's not every single number that uh that is supposed to be a card because uh. This is not even a complete game. This is like wave one. So there'll be some cards that might from wave two might go in between uh some of these numbers. So you have missing numbers here. So for example, this the first card you'll see that is actually P uh M10. There's no M01, M02, and so on. And sometimes you might even have uh, more than one card with the same uh 
with the same uh, exact number there because uh, there might be multiple variation of one scenario and then, you know, you just have to like tackle only maybe one out of the five or something like that. And then, you know, you have multiple variation of cards so you will not like see all the cards and something like that. So it's in that case, um, that's why, you know, you have some repeat cards, you have some cards that are being jumped. So um, it's a bit hard to tell if you're missing any cards. So the only way to find out... Uh, is you need to refer to this um, and then you need to check how many cards there are which I have not done so uh, sad to say so you know like probably giving bad advice anyway so right I should be doing that the next section here is the global condition which is the red card you have this background you will see some cards that belongs to this okay and then uh, it starts from 0 to all the way to 36 uh, this one is more or less in running order and uh, you know all this doesn't all just comes from box A. Some of them are even from box B. And then, you know, you have to like just identify the cards and put them this way. So this is like the first section of uh, your box A. So the second section, uh, it consists of two, two splitter sections of the small cards. So the first section, you will have discovery. So discovery, con uh, it's okay. So this is a bit tight. I'll take out. I will try to take out. So there's, there's, there's one motivation why I'm not sleeping them so far because it seems like I don't think that there's enough space to sleep there. <laughs> okay, so under discovery, you will have uh, the minerals, okay, which are the blue ones, the live specimens, which is the yellow one, the strange flora, the violet one, uh, alien tech discovery, which is uh, orange, okay, or brown, and finally the green one, which is a uh, microorganism discovery. So this is like all the discoveries uh, split into different. Um, just different uh, colors, I mean, or different categories. Okay, so this is like the front part, okay? And behind you have a unique discovery, which is actually numbered. Okay, so same thing, flip them back to front. So you have a uh, running from number two to 40. So this is the whole section on discovery. And you can see that there's actually no space uh, for sleeve. Well, really good luck to you know people who sleeve them. I wonder if they have to store in another box, which, uh, you know, defeat the whole purpose of everything but anyway uh not sleeving them and i also explain why i'm not sleeving them uh in this case okay so the the other section here uh, on the right side we have a rank up which is actually pretty easy you can see that it's all rank up so just keep all the rank up cuts here uh, i'm not sure that there's any sequence but i don't think there's any sequence so it's uh they look more or less the same okay so i just i just leave them as it is unless i'm being other told otherwise okay then the second section of this is the injuries, which actually a bunch of uh, you know just wound and injuries cards, and uh, it comes from um, uh, from wound injury, and then there's like a uh, panic, exhaust, and critical, and I'll just leave them as it is and a burn, so I just leave them as it is, uh, separated by different type of uh, injuries, okay, and um, the last section here actually is the. Uh, a bunch of red cards which i have a hard time taking out okay okay i think i managed to do it but right, these are the event cards so the event cards are the all has this back okay and then uh you know just keep them as it is uh there's no numberings i think they're just like random events okay so uh so just keep all the events together okay and uh that's all we have uh we're done with uh box a okay so far so good Okay, so you can like pause and then reverse, uh, go watch it again if you need to like, you know, do it for your box. Okay, so I'm going to open box B, okay, and then I'm going to leave up box B. I'm going to show you uh, what happened in box B by shifting it a bit closer. Okay, box B start with the square cards. Okay, we have uh, the armory, where at the moment you have no weaponry, so uh, it's blank. And then we have uh, unavailable equipment, which is literally all the rest of the equipment uh starting from e01 all the way to e105 which is actually the same thing um you have to uh, reverse them and then you know put them in this order okay so the back is facing you uh, i put it this way because i think you'll be asked to look for like maybe e104 or something then you'll be easier to find it rather than you know like having it the other way and then you know you have to like turn it over anyway so you know that's, all, that's based on my experience uh, with Etherfield anyway. So it's like, you know, the number that you will look for facing you will be easier. The next we have our resting crew. Nobody's resting. And then we have recruits. So recruits will contain all the cards that looks like this with uh, with some figures or some, uh, some of the, your crew member. I think there's supposed to be 90 cards here. And they are really colorful. Look at, you know, uh, I mean, Li Teng is the 
It's one of the cards that we saw in the uh, personal files. Uh, then, then there's this like almost a cyber witch, Sophia Bean. Um, well, I can like spend whole days looking at this, but you know, they are really cool and now my style. Okay. So anyway, I know all this goes here. Uh, you can, I'm not sure if putting them in alphabetical order helps or not, but you know, I'm just going to leave it this way. The next we have is a uh, landing cards. Landing cards uh, have had me f long time trying to figure out what are landing cards. I mean, I could refer to the manual, but uh, I know with a little bit intuitive, I thought uh, the L uh, are the ones that stands for landing. So it's like L01 to L18. Uh, might have to like, same thing. Might have to like reverse them. Uh, I think it should be... I'm not sure if this side should be facing you or this side should be facing you. So I, I'm just leaving it on this side first. But you know, I could be wrong. This one, I could be wrong. I mean, it, it could be this side facing you. Do not read until instructed. Oh, okay. So that means this must be the side facing you. So I'm right, I'm right. So you know, have this side facing you and then you know, and then I have the text, the favorite text on the other side. Okay, so the um, recorder planets, we've got nothing for it. Uh, we have uh, flight upgrades, a facility upgrade. So facility upgrades are like the next section which only have a few cards. I think there's only about seven of them if I'm not wrong. Uh, so we have uh, the, the mat bay, okay. And then followed by the uh, production. I think they are more or less the same. There's no particular order, but I just group them by, you know, the two different uh, colors that they have. Okay, and then uh, the next one is uh, followed by a possible situation where, you know, you're asked to like put the all these cards that looks with this situation there, here. Um, but how to tell which are the ones? So, okay, this one you have to look at the, you have to look at the number, I think. So, uh, they'll be like, S01 to S10 is under the possible situation. Okay, so you put this under the possible. Okay, and now from the S11 onwards, uh, you know, with the rest of the card, you put them under future future situation. Okay, so this is from uh, S11 onwards to 26. So that is uh, how I put it, but you know, and uh, anyway, just keep them in this two stack. That's the instructor by the manual. Uh, rulebook. Okay, so I use the, the word interchangeably. So the next we have is a research project. So research project basically uh, has uh, all these words that say research project here. Okay, so they are all having research projects. And uh, I think they are numbered as well. Um, not sure, really sure if they are, but it seems like it's all uh, just cost. So, um, oh, they are numbers, yes. So there's like 0, 2, uh, so on, and until, uh, you know, 24. So I also labeled them uh, this way, this part facing you, because the other part, yeah, I think you're not supposed to read the other part. So, so is, yeah, you're supposed to read this part first. Okay, say. It said, do not review this card until research. Uh, well, um, I think it could be this side because the other side is a uh, do not review, right? So, okay, maybe I will just like keep it this way, okay? So, I, I will just reverse this. So, this is how you reverse it. You just keep all the cards uh, in order and then you just uh, flip them around. Okay, so we have like 0, 2 uh, facing the front. Okay, so this is like the uh, research project. And uh, finally, we have the... Uh, Production project, okay, with this uh, divider, and we have this, okay, so this is the, I think this is also the same thing, we have to have the, this part that says the do not review hidden, so we should have, we should reverse the order. So in fact, you know, I can like even do this on screen uh, for you guys, but you know, it's like, it doesn't, there's no, for like some of the stacks are really, really big, and then it's like, you know, it's not so easy. So this one, we start from uh, 4 all the way to 27. Okay, so there, there is, we have it. So we have done with all the big cards. Uh, you know, we finally have a, this also comes with uh, two stacks of small cards. So the first one over this side is the gather discovery, which we don't have any, and the lender cost. So lender cost is uh, basically all this uh, with the A01 that says lender mod. It's not lender cost, it's lender modes. Mods, in fact, sorry. What was I thinking, man? It's lender modes. So we start with uh, A01 all the way to A31 for the lender modes. Okay, I uh, don't think there's a separate site. I think, it, actually, no, this is the only one that's a bit funny because I think both sites look the same. So it doesn't really matter which site is facing you. Okay, on the other side here, we have the bridge 
cards. So the bridge cards is the, is the only one that's a little bit more complicated because uh, this one also looks like it's both sides is the same. Okay, so um, you group basically all the rest of the cards uh, like the campaign objectives. Okay, uh, in running order. Okay, and then uh, also the secondary objective which actually continues from this num running number I think, and um, and then after that there is also the uh, bridge upgrade for travel which is the green ones and uh, followed by um tech levels so tech levels you have a few cards here as well so the tech levels is the only one that is like you know a bit ambiguous but you know this is where it ends up and uh here is where you know all the rest of the cards supposed to be like those cards that are discarded in the game everything they should go into this discard part but uh, i know this is where i'm going to put my uh the ship i mean this is like the some sort of uh save game sheet to uh, you know record your you know progress and then these two tutorial decks don't open them until you're ready to start the tutorial okay so just keep them in this way so that you are not mess around okay and uh there's this special thing which actually uh you know um works with this i think and i don't know where this card is supposed to go i i did not figure this out so this card is still here okay so this is all done for the uh, box b okay so box a and box b are all done okay so so this part we will have you will find that there's style cards you which you haven't touched yet. You just have to unwrap them. Uh, don't touch any of them yet because you, uh shortly you will be uh taking a card from here. Okay. So uh let me just run through the, the top part here first. And you saw the all these four stacks are the same. I will not uh open every single one, I will just show you uh one of them. Okay. So for the let's say for the blue one, basically you spec uh you split them, there's two dividers, one of them is rank sleeve. Which you then put all this transparent sleeve which uh, has the uh, upgrade so you're supposed to like slide the card on top of it and this is sh showing so this is like the rank sleeve and the other one is the section cards where it's all the rest of the section you know like uh, you will see the sections by its logo so you can't miss it so i put it in this way okay i mean you could put it the other way and then the, this goes here and then uh, i think the dice is supposed the dice gain for each section is supposed to go in the front which uh, i think I don't know if it's easy or very hard to take out the dice this way, but you know, maybe you put it back and then you put the dice and then you pull it back out. I guess that'll be a lot easier. So it's the same for all four sections. Okay. And I guess uh I, that's like almost 22 minutes, my god. I thought this would like would be done in like 10 minutes. But anyway, let's continue. So the rest of the token, like all the turn tokens and everything, I keep them in one bag. Uh, this is all the ship tokens, which is six of them, I think. I keep them in the other bag. Uh, ship standees, sorry. So these are the um, the 20, um, what they call lead tokens, which actually I found the um, the capsule for this. Uh, this doesn't come with the game. I, I bought my own capsules and then, uh, you know, I put them in and there's 20 of them, which are actually the same size. So that, you know, like, you know, they really juggle and, you know, when you, like, pick random one out, it's really, really fun and sounds nice. Okay. So with a time token in another bag, uh, I already uh, unbag this. Uh, all I think this uh, this purple counters. This is uh, I can't remember this like this energy uh, looking thing. Uh, can't remember what the name of it. But anyway, there's a few of them, and uh, they are like the you no know, players uh, color because I mine the standy version. It doesn't come to the sun drop, so I will need to use this to know uh, which guy is from uh, which. You know, it corresponds to the four sections, like uh, research or, you know, science or, I mean, science or recon or something like that. And I keep all the st uh, the standy stands uh, in another bag. And finally, I have the all this in uh, another small bag. So, basically, most of the, um, you know, like, the smaller things that doesn't belong anywhere else, uh, you know, will all end up here. And then, I uh, kept all my, uh, you know, lead token inside my uh, lead bag. And then uh, that's it. So the dice, I kept it the same. So we have three bags of dice. Okay. Uh, these are all the 20... I forgot it's 22 or 23 of them. But these are all like the enemies. Okay, standees. And then, uh, you know, like the range from this very big one to... this one really very small one. I, I don't know if I can show you, but you know, like... You can easily miss them out. So this one, this one. This one really small ones. Okay. So I'll you know, keep all of them in one bag. And... Uh, then there's this other round ones which actually are the they are all like equipments or you know uh constructions and stuff like that which are more like your mission objective and then uh, i also managed to find the uh the capsules for this 
uh, except the, the big ones which uh, I have, I've ordered they're on the way but they're not here yet so you know like they come in two sizes so the small ones I have them all fully uh, you know placed in the capsules for protection and this one please don't mistake this as a uh, lead tokens they are not they are the same size with lead tokens but they are like you know I think um, they're called upgrades or I can't remember the, the real name I always get it wrong you know I don't know why but these green ones are called like uh, success tokens okay they're called success tokens uh, so you know it's like um, there there's a couple like you no know, 16 17 of them you know and this bag, there's actually use for it because you realize that they are like to keep this type of tokens, which I think is used for save game or some sort, right? So you place this token into this bag or something. So um, I haven't figured out that out yet, but you know, I'm sure that that's what the bag is meant for. So you know, I I kept it clear first, and uh, you you will have uh, plenty of space to put this in, and even be and don't forget because I even like no capsule my stuff, so mine's a little bit thicker than yours. Okay, so that's done on the. So that you organize everything, all your cards, everything are all ready. Okay, so you're almost ready to go. Uh, let me put this back in. Okay, wait before I do that. There's something else you need to do. Remember I talked about this type of cards? You need to unwrap them. Okay, so what is what is actually going on with that? For that, I need to bring the ship lock. Okay, so the ship lock is a bit of assembly involved as well. And um, this takes me a bit of time. Okay, so... I'm gonna like take out these things which are not part of the ship locks, okay? So, um, this awaiting, I think it's kind of a safe envelope, okay? Uh, and then we have this, uh, the two lock books, which I probably will not use since I'm gonna use the app, okay? And uh, these are all the lenders, uh, lenders, uh, and you know, all your ships. This is not part of the lock. The thank you letter, which I always keep here. Uh, the nice comics, which you're supposed to have really read already. And uh, the system map, which uh, is still here, okay. So all the rest uh, is out. This is you will find that you have two bags of uh of this uh cards, which I suspected was part of the uh, ship logs, and I was right. So what you need to do is uh, there's actually page numbers here, okay. So arrange uh, all of them. Uh, they should be arranged in correct order. Place them in here, okay. They will be skipping numbers because you know why? Because uh, this is how it works. So you got one page one here, page two is behind, okay. And page 3 actually is an envelope uh, sheet. And followed by page 4 is also the back of the envelope sheet. And then there's page 5. So you get the gist. Okay, so that means the envelope sheet and the uh, and the, all these uh, thick card maps, uh, cards, uh, sheets are supposed to like, you know, interleave each other. And then uh, they are not in particular order. Sometimes you have uh, like two sheets of um, of this and, uh, you know, two sheets of that. And then uh, basically they run from uh, page 1 all the way to page uh, 40 I think, uh, page 40. And uh, one thing I could uh, advise, so other than the capsule, which is my personal upgrade to the things, uh, I would advise uh, getting getting these things called, uh, I don't know if it's universally called reinforcement ring, but you know, um, basically it's, um, it's, it looks like, I'm not sure you can see, it looks like it's a, it's a sticker that is transparent, or sometimes it comes with a white uh, or other colors. But, uh, but basically you pull them out, you pull them out and then uh, they will just like jump out from here and then you take them out use a transparent sticker and then you paste it over uh you know here which i'm not sure you can see it or not so can you see that there's actually a ring sticker there okay so what this does is that uh because when you put this thing in uh sometimes you might pull it by oh no i'm not going to show it on screen no no i love this game i, I can't bring myself to it but anyway imagine if i pull on this and you know, and you type on this uh it will tear the, the cardboard i mean even though these thick cardboards you know so it might tear um so pasting it on one side gives him uh protection pasting it on both side give him more protection so i uh, you know i literally spent my whole afternoon pasting all the you know the things for uh the count of like 40 sheets of this minus all the all the um uh, card holders so card holders this material are different so i didn't paste any of them here uh because they are also this is actually not even a standard hole they can like uh move so uh it's a bit hard to paste it here so I'll just leave this as it is because I think these are like quite sturdy. But one thing I really like is that they have all this, uh, you know, pre-printed um, stuff here. Okay, and then after placing all this, after placing everything in, you're supposed to like fill up this. So there are a few things to fill up. Uh, you follow through this uh, on the uh, on the rulebook as well. Okay, so the rulebook will talk to you about this, uh, filling this up. Okay, so they just say that you have to like find the cards and everything. So if you have organized all the cards, it shouldn't be hard to find them, okay? Uh, and then you know like just place the card in 
the only one that's a bit um, challenging is that uh, but actually it's not challenging at all because you will know by the size of it. All the small cards look for all the all the small areas. So there's three of them on this page. As you can see three of them here. Okay. Um, and then um, followed by the uh, star map, and then uh, then there's like you know there's two sheets of this. Sometimes there's no pocket in between, and then uh, there's also one here uh, which is actually the the research. Okay. So the only one that uh, then after that you go through. There's also uh, like more comp uh, research. Uh, I think production upgrades or projects or something like that. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is the only one that's a bit uh, you might be you might be wondering. Oh man, this is like you know such a weird size. Yes, because this is the big card. So the space ranger is the is the card that you need to pick up, and we actually that comes from uh this part. So you need to like open this, and the first card should be the space ranger. So this card supposed to goes here, and now uh, there's a uh, I'm not sure if there's a few couple of cards, but you know basically just fill up. Uh, as accordingly and then you know it's like ready your, your logbook is ready and you know captain you're right you know ready to take on the you know the duty of a uh, starship iss vanguard and you know that's about it so so before before i let you go you know you want to, you want to find out how how to repack this thing so that you know so i followed some of the uh, instruction okay uh on the on the site okay but uh basically this is all the same you should have this right at the bottom Okay, so um, straight after this, what you should have is you should have this uh overlay where you put them in. Okay, so this area uh can keep one side some of your dice. Okay, I think I figure out this out. This must be place for your dice. Okay, so I think if you want, you can shift some of the dice here as well. Okay, and there's this two slot here. I think also could fit dice if you want to, but uh I didn't. Okay, so I, I instead I fit in one of my dry stick here because it just put fit in perfectly. So before you put in the log book, the next thing they tell you is to put in your log book. Okay, so your ship, log boat, uh, you flip them, okay, and you're supposed to like uh, put them this way, okay, so why do you put it this way? Because if you put it this way, you realize that on the side here, let me show you the side, side here, is level, okay. Because this side, this side has the miniatures, right, which is actually portrayed, this side doesn't, so you know, if you put a log boat in this way, it's going to like, and you could like put all this here this way, okay, but another way I could like do it better is like, flip open the log boat, and then put all the rest of those, uh, those stuff, uh in there except the secret envelope and the two big uh rubrics and uh the pian planet utopia planet topedia sorry okay so close this okay so you almost have it flat and then the secret envelope um uh, you know massage them because you know that there's two type of cards here uh, massage them so that you know the cards are more or less like in the center and then you feel like this is level okay then uh then i'm going to talk to you about about why i kept this piece so you do you notice this thing do you know why it is there okay let me tell you it's there because of this okay so if you do not put this back here you're going to put this this way it some uh indentment might happen and you might actually uh push the thing into this plastic so uh you know this thing was there and imagine that it was there and there was this indentment that's done here so i mean i jolly well think that you know he has done his job i will let him continue doing his job and that's the way i'll put it and then finally the rule book on iss vanguard and uh, then I will put my lid back for well, how it all started, okay? And then um, you can see that everything is level. Nothing comes out. Okay, it's perfectly fine, you see? The whole box goes in, all perfect. Okay, so I'm so proud of myself, uh, not having done this. Spent a whole afternoon of this, figuring this out. I don't know where else, nobody talk about it. And uh, to be honest, I was so pretty glad that I've seen some of the people uh, having some sort of nightmare storage. Uh, problem or issues you know with all the additional miniature uh whole and the atrocious dice tower uh you know some of the, the you know the boxes that you know store all the uh the four colors uh you know the dividers doesn't go into the boxes oh my god it's like okay but uh unfortunately i and very fortunately i didn't back any of those uh i didn't back the pads as well because um no need the pads doesn't contain any content to play with it's just a miniature that holds the dice it doesn't have cards it doesn't have a story it doesn't have anything, but it's not, you know, uh, but, you know, it's a weekend Rams, and it's a miniature, it's nice. Okay, okay, just, just get it out of my mind, don't, don't get that. I, I didn't say anything about the pets, it doesn't exist. Okay, so that's all you need to play, standees, go for standees. <laughs> but unless, if you're already all in, well, well, then, uh, you know, maybe you need to look for another solution and how people are, people store stuff. And if you're bought a sleeve, 
how other people store their, their sleeve and everything. But you know, basically I didn't sleeve it. So one of the things that I did mention just now is about why I did not sleeve my card. Is that first, the storage solution it seems to be just nice. And second, you notice that all the upgrade cards for the different fractions, uh, sections are like canvas. They are like, uh, there's overlay sleeve that runs onto the card. So if you already sleeve the cards, uh, you'll be difficult to run it through that, uh, that upgrade sleeve again, you know. So uh, at least for that, you're not going to sleeve. So, you know, so for that, you the big ones, the big cards, you're not going to sleeve. And then, you know, the um, the mission cards, you're not really going to shuffle them much because I think they are all numbered, so they comes out in sequence. And then, uh, you know, the uh, the smaller cards have a limited space to, you know, to store them. And, you know, if you sleeve them, they're not going to go in. So I guess uh, that kind of rounds out like why you should not sleeve this game. At least, you know, if you didn't buy the official sleeve, which comes in a different box, and then you have to store everything else in the second box, um, no, I, I think I, I want to, like, no, just keep this at a minimum. Take and go, and no, I'm ready to play. I just bank up. Okay, so, um, you're going to ask me, am I going to, like, show you how to play the first scenario? I'm sure there's, like, 1,001 video out there that does that. There's even official video that does that. I'm not sure I can do it better than them. I'm most likely going to make a lot of mistakes, house rule a lot of things which I don't understand, and know it's like, um, okay, by the way, just to prep you up, the tutorial mission is three to four hours. Yep, that's what it says on the, on the rule book, but I'm not there yet, so uh, I wouldn't know, but, you know, um, I'm going to find some time to go through it, and uh, this is pretty late on the Friday night now, so it's probably not a good time to start, uh, unless I intend to do it uh, until Saturday morning in the midnight, uh, but... Not likely, I'd rather like run something uh, light later. Maybe like Dungeons and Dragons or something like that. Oh yeah, like that's right. That's really light. Okay, but anyway, um thanks for watching. So uh if you like all my presentation and you know if you think this video is helpful, uh just help me click the like, click the subscribe, you know. Uh basically it doesn't cost you anything, you know, it's like other than you know, maybe you might get some neck for me when I post a new video, kind of things like that. But you can always turn that off. And that's all I need for helping me, uh, you know, uh, on this video. And thanks again for watching and I uh, hope to be able to see you in another video soon.